bushes. The, the, the local uh, river and wakens Yulongur and the Malu who come chasing after her and you can see how he's come over through the sky. All the, the hills and the valleys, this is where the great snake has come. And everywhere he touches, water starts to flow, trees start to grow, grass starts to come. Following behind him is the great kangaroo. Wherever he lands, animals spring into being, birds, and the, light, the world becomes alive. And so they come chasing after these sisters and finally they arrive. Now where's the other bottle? Michael live their life. But the next thing they have to do is these sisters now have to protect their children and so they have to bury the afterbirth, the placenta afterbirth. And so we'll go to the next site which is over here and that's this site. And parts of these shapes are natural shapes, but I know because when I did my thesis I had to get these investigated by geologists that these have been enhanced, have been added to and changed. What they represent is the older placenta or the older fetus there and the new fetus from the new child here. And this is the ceremonial place where the old men would sing and sharpen their stone axes along here. See along here? Mm. Mm. Right? And they would sing and sharpen their stone axes here and they would praise the sisters for burying and hiding the placenta and stopping anyone getting a hold of it. Because in Aboriginal mythology, if you get the placenta, you can control the child forever. And so this is the story about that. When you notice all these axe groups are on that side, facing towards the star group where the sisters come from. So these old men would come and tell this story and they would sing out to these sisters about what they had done and how clever they were to Orca, so Orca would throw them up on the beach and injure them and then the locals come down and harpoon them. Um, and even today there are seals in the bay and there are porpoises or um, dolphins in the bay and, and we're getting more and more whales now as well. We come and have a quick look at the view. local people would gather. Normally people are dispersed all throughout here. Maybe a hundred people would be here. Yeah. 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 Just a baby. <laughs> um, so these people would be dispersed, you know, in small family groups of 10 to 15 in each bay. And then when the whales come, they all gather on the point over there where you can see the grassy area. Yeah. Mm. And they would feast there for weeks, about four to five weeks, maybe six weeks. And they would feast on the carcasses of the whales. Yeah, look at him, he's not frightened, is he? So that's Varus Varanus right there. See? He's a beauty, eh? Yeah. Wow. And this is not full grown, yeah? Oh no, he's only it's a baby. baby. He would how, not even, how would a, not even a year old. Two meters? Yeah. Eight feet, six to eight feet. Yeah. Like I'm running straight out. 